Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we will continue our Plotly series and move into how to create dash dashboards using Plotly and dash packages. To begin, let's go over some install details. If you visit the Plotly dash documentation, you will find install instructions. If you would like to use a virtual package environment, you can use virtual env, as well as others, or anaconda. We will be using anaconda. To get started with anaconda, we open anaconda navigator. Go to environments, go to our dash package environment, click on the arrow and open terminal. Then we will open Visual Studio Code with our dash package environment by typing code dot. I'll put instructions for virtual env on GitHub with the dash code files. Also, if you want further details on the Anaconda package environment, check out my tutorial, Python Create Package Environments with Anaconda Navigator. Let's open the Python file. For the imports, we will use import dash and from dash import HTML. Note that import dash HTML components as HTML has been deprecated. To create the app, we use app equals dash dot dash. For the app layouts, the code used is app dot layout equals HTML div and inside the round brackets and square brackets, we will create an HTML header using html.h1 and inside the round brackets we put our text hello world. Now we can run the app by typing app.run server and setting debug to true. Setting debug to true gives us helpful debug messages and some extra options such as updating after changes are made. Set debug to false for deployment. Finally, let's run the code. Here we can access the app at this address. We can copy and paste into a web browser or command click. Here we have our hello world dash app. At the bottom we have our debug menu. From here we can begin to build our dashboard app. Let's add another header to the app. Let's save it, and we can see that the app has been updated. You can type Control C to quit. In future tutorials, we will cover the following topics, creating layouts and formatting in detail, core components slash widgets, callbacks, creating interactive dashboards, and more. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.